welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in once again. We have some riveting, riveting things to go over with you here today. It's going to be super exciting. Melissa, what are we working on in the tiny house that is being set within our pole barn? What well, are we doing? I'm really excited to announce that we are working on blocking. Woo! Blocking. Blocking that is the joists. Amazing. Joy. Tell me more. Well, of all the projects so far that we've done, blocking the joists is the one that I just couldn't even sleep last night for. I mean, I was just really just chopping at the excited. Bit. This is to just going to be great. Cut those 14 and a half inch sections and just block those joists. All right, no, so to get serious here for a second, we are working on the loft floor that's gonna be overhead in our tiny home. We're doing the blocking and we're kind of making light of it because yeah, this isn't the most exciting project, no. but it is something that has to be done. We wanna make sure that things are evenly spaced. We're operating on 16 inch centers. So when we go to do our sheeting and everything, uh, it's very important that things are properly aligned and rigid and stiff and make for a solid foundation for everything we're gonna be storing. <laughs> yeah, we want a stiff foundation. So I mean, that's... <laughs> Say stiff again. <laughs> Anywho, so we want to show you guys everything, even the mundane things. I mean, these things are necessary and they are part of building. So if it's something that you're thinking about doing, just know there's going to be days where you're doing very repetitive things that maybe you don't want to be doing, but they are necessary steps so you can move forward to the more exciting projects. So let's get these joists blocked. Woo! Be enthusiastic about it. Woo! Woo! <laughs> it's time to work. Let's go. So welcome to our loft floor. In our last video, Melissa and I ran these series of joists to frame the actual floor itself. Since they are 16 foot spans, however, things have gotten a little out of whack in the middle. So for today, our plan is to get the blocking set up right dead center, so eight, eight feet in, and we are gonna get these things evenly spaced, which means that we're gonna have to cut out 14 and a half inch blocks, get them situated between each individual joist, and then get them nailed in and secured. We're going to be staggering our blocking side by side as we go down between each gap uh, within the joist. So to begin with, Melissa and I are going to chalk a line to work off of. I'm going to get this screw set. We'll uh, get our chalk line attached to that, go to the far end and actually snap our line. Hey. Yeah. Did you catch one, Jeremy? <laughs> Oh, oh, I think I got me a marlin. Oh. Sorry. So here we are, we are back up. We are about to install our first piece of blocking. And uh, I just wanted to illustrate a point of, and the, the reason behind actually doing this. So again, with these 16 foot spans of two by 12 lumber, things get a little wonky in the middle. So I'm able to ensure that we have good distancing between each of our joists. We actually want to pull this thing apart. I pre-measured. You can insert this blocking and get it nailed in. And now with doing so, I know that I have the perfect amount of spacing between this joist and this outside joist here. And again, we're operating on 16 inch centers. So we're going to do this the whole way down. We're going to stagger each block working off of that chalk line that Melissa and I just got set up here a minute ago. out I swear it was sunny this morning but another good day to be working on the tanio now today is a very special day for our family and for Melissa in particular because she is getting her first official tool a real tool for her tool belt her little tights tool belt that she stole from our five-year-old son are you ready to receive your first tool? I am. I recently upgraded and got a brand new tape measure, so here you go. You are getting your first tape measure. It works and everything. Wait a minute. Why did you it, get it the new one? It retracts. It even has a special little piece of tape here holding it together. This so broken. You go ahead and enjoy that floppy tape measure. I'm very proud of you. That's a broken one. My job is to go along and use this old junky tape measure that's taped together. Thanks that Jeremy <laughs> and confirm that our measurements are 14 and a half with the blocking in the back so that we know that we are transferring that measurement to our center blocking and that we maintain that 14 and a half inch block there's a few sections where we had to go more than 16 inches or less than 16 inches sorry um, just when we're up against any of these beams so I just have to 
let Jeremy know what those measurements are so we can make sure that we get all of our blocking correct. First little section of locking all set up. So we're gonna run our tape just to double check our work and see how things are lining up. And if you take a look, it looks like things are lining up exactly where they should be. We are 64 inches on center, 48. I love it, let's keep going. Let me lend you a hand. Let me in on the plan. Together we're strong. said they found something that is alive so I hope it's not a snake. I'm gonna go help them out and hope it's not a snake. Found a little turkey and we don't know where its mom is. We're gonna try to find its mom. So we found this little turkey. It can't be more than a few days old sitting on the road by itself so we're gonna see if there's any more baby chicks down the road. Let's go check it out. Well, that took about a half hour of my life. So I sat there with the little chick. I sent the kids up because they were just a little too distracting. And we could hear the mom kind of popping. And we could hear other baby chicks chirping around there once we got back down there. So they thought the baby chick was by itself because they're little kids. So we had a good long talk about how you never touch baby animals and mama stash them places. So they're feeling pretty bad, but luckily, once the kids left and I just sat there quietly around the corner, that little baby just chirped for its mom for a long time. And eventually four more little chicks came out from all different directions and um, joined it. And then eventually mama did come along and gather them up. So a uh, very surprising, happy ending to that story. I was not expecting to find its mom and I did not feel like uh, raising a little wild turkey baby. So. Glad that's over. I need to go back and help Jeremy because he has been blocking all by himself and he probably needs my help about this point in the day. So back to work, no more turkey business.
guys, there's a look at all of the blocking that we got installed here today for the joist, which is going to be the eventual floor of our loft. So things are nice and strong, sturdy and stiff. It's the way mama likes it. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? So with that step in the process done, we can now move on to more exciting things like getting some sheeting down. We have a bunch of wiring that we have to get done this week. Um, what else we have? super exciting. Yeah, super exciting. <laughs> we have a bunch of plumbing that we need to get sorted out. We don't know how that's going to work as of yet, but yeah, it's all part of the process. We need to piece that together as well. Yeah, so. we need to get the guts of the wall put together now so that we can start working on sheeting and insulation and getting this place finished up. So stay tuned for that and we will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. See you guys.